I disable third-party cookies in my browser, and I suggest you do too. Hello, my name is Rick Murphy, and this is episode 3 of Security Theater. When you visit a website, you get a web page back, but you may also get a cookie, maybe even a whole tray of cookies. A cookie is just a little piece of data that is sent back to your browser. Assuming you have cookies enabled, that little bit of data is saved. Each time you visit that same website, your browser sends that cookie back along with your web page request. Unlike a telephone call that keeps a connection open, the internet is connectionless. Every click you make sends an independent request to a server. A common use of cookies is to give you a session ID when you log into the site. That's just a unique code that is stored in a cookie. Then with every click you make on the site, the cookie with the session ID is sent back where the site you are visiting uses that to confirm you are logged in. If you completely disabled cookies in your browser, you may find that your favorite social media and online shopping sites no longer work for you. This is an example of a first-party cookie that provides a useful benefit to you. Third-party cookies, on the other hand, are more often used to track you without providing any important benefit. A third-party is one that contributes some content to the web page, like an image that is not located on the same website you are visiting. When you visit a website, you don't usually get the whole web page all at once. Your browser makes a separate request for each image or anything else embedded in the page. Any requests going to a third party may result in you getting cookies from that third party. Do you shop at Amazon.com? I love Amazon. I shop there all the time. I understand them keeping a record of my shopping habits, but I would prefer they keep the information between us. You know what I mean? Amazon pages refer to doubleclick.net. There's your third party. When you load the page from Amazon.com, your browser sees the reference in that page to something on another domain and sends that request. You get back the ad and the cookie from DoubleClick. Now let's say you are searching for some information on a health condition and you end up visiting a site called Healthline. They also use DoubleClick, so you get the web page from Healthline and your browser again requests the ad content from DoubleClick, sending back the exact same cookie that you used while shopping earlier. If that cookie uniquely identifies you, then the third party now knows about your embarrassing medical condition in addition to your shopping habits. In other words, it can confirm that it was the same user visiting both of these websites. A third party cookie can link all that web browsing activity together. Now that by itself does not tie it to your personal contact information. Do you think they could get that through some other means? DoubleClick is a subsidiary of Google. I'm just saying. DoubleClick is used by sites all over the net, like YouTube, Overstock.com, Dictionary.com, and that's just DoubleClick. There are also all those Facebook like buttons, Google Analytics, and something called Scorecard Research. WebCookies.org can give you an idea of how many third-party cookies are being delivered by a site. Wow, some of these sites are sending over 400 cookies. The number of cookies that you receive could be more or less than shown here. Here is Dictionary.com. Who wants all those cookies when you don't know where they're coming from? Okay, let's disable these third-party cookies in Firefox. The setting is buried down in the privacy section. Okay. Full disclosure, there are still plenty of other ways you can be tracked. One of those is via flash cookies, but you already disabled that after seeing last week's episode, right? Don't lose sleep about this. There's no great risk in getting a third-party cookie, but there's no great benefit either, and it's easy to disable. I shop online. I go to lots of these sites that host third-party ads. I just want to minimize how much of my personal information they collect. See the description for the link to webcookies.org. That's all for now. Thank you for watching. If there's a topic you'd like to see covered in security theater, put it in the comments below. And like this video. Until next week, goodbye.